For the next part of our toucan project, you need a big green piece of paper. Name in the corner before you forget. You also need your bird. And we're going to cut your bird out. Now I want to leave this oil pastel line on the edge of my bird because I think it looks nice. So cut your bird very carefully, but do not glue yet. And the reason we cut the bird, but we're not gluing it yet, is we need to see what kind of space it takes up on the page. We're going to take some tissue paper. I would like you to pick out about six pieces. Don't go crazy, because we only have so much space on our page. So I've got six different pieces of tissue here. And I'm going to stack them up. So they're all going the same way. Then I'm going to take my scissors and cut a leaf shape. It's just one big leaf. And we will put your scrap in the pie pan on your table. So now you have six leaves that are identical because two cans they spend some time up in the trees. So we're gonna have some very colorful leaves in our tree. Now one more time, your bird takes up a lot of space over on this side of the page. So that means I have to think about where my leaves are gonna go so I can actually, you know, see them behind my bird. Probably put some more up here. But please keep them on the page. We don't want them going off the edge. And just choose your direction. I'll check again, make sure I can still see them. And I'll move that one down. You can see it a little better. We don't want it to look like the bird's wearing a crown or something. Just trying to make some quick leaves in the background like Artist Chico de Silva. Okay, once you know where those are gonna go, we're not using a glue stick to stick them down. Cause this is tissue, it tends to tear easily. So you will have a bowl full of what looks like milk, but it's not milk. This is watered down glue. We're going to brush it on the tissue. So it helps to hold it down with one hand and brush carefully with the other. And notice how I started in the middle and then I worked my way out. So if you start from the wrong direction, it can wrinkle up and tear on you. Just brushing a little glue on. And this tissue is called bleeding tissue. That means the color does come off. So if you're working and you notice your other leaves are changing color or your glue starts changing color, that's just because that's what the tissue does. It's kind of how it's made. It doesn't matter if your leaves were big or if your leaves were small. Because they're your leaves. So if you started out cutting too tiny, you could always just cut more from the same paper you already got. Almost there. There we go. And yes, there might be some little blotches here and there. So I'm gonna try to spread the color around that so it looks nicer. Okay, then we have your bird. This is where you can go back to your good friend, the glue stick. And don't smear glue all over the whole back of your bird. He is way too big for that. And so I'm just putting glue around the outside edge of my toucan and then making sure that he lines up with the bottom corner here and stick him down and then your beautiful bird needs to go on the drying rack to dry